view of you of marriage since the time you were a little girl? My view of marriage? Actually, I never really even thought about it when I was a little girl. I guess I was so busy, you know, shopping and doing things that most girls, and eventually you grow into teenagers and you, you know, boys and things like that. You're really not thinking about marriage. But um, as I am married right now, I can tell you that I was not looking for you know, I didn't have a list. I didn't like go out on a out on a hunt or something or a scavenger hunt with a, a man in mind. But um, it just happened. I met my husband, and kind of ironically, we weren't really interested in each other. But then we had some things in common, and we just kind of embellished on those things. And between the two of us, there was a chemistry there, and that chemistry was love. And we fell in love, and uh, we were engaged long engagement, about a year, year and a half, and we got married. And to this day, I'm happily married with him. How long have you been married? I've been married uh, seven and a half years. Uh, first marriage? First mar first, and hopefully the only one. Is he older than you? We're the same age. Taller? He's much taller than me, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's about six, six. He's about six, six. He's tall. He's like my big bear. What are the, the qualities in your husband that you, you prize today? Uh, I would say um, devotion, um, trust, honesty, um, and he, and he genuinely loves me. I mean, it's not like, you know, well, I'm in it because she's, you know, maybe she's attractive or she has a good job or something, but he really just loves me. I guess if I wasn't working or, you know, looked otherwise, you know, he, he loves me for me. Do you have many male friends, platonic male friends? Well, let's see, platonic. To me, they are. <laughs> to them, they probably have a hidden agenda, <laughs> which I'm probably quite aware of. <laughs> But, you know, I don't play into it. I, I know, and I just try to, you know, whatever we can do mutually on a friendship level, you know, I try to just go with that. But I know they have the little hidden agenda and sometimes little topics of it come out, but I just try not to even hear it. <laughs> what do you think about monogamy? I think it's great. I think it's great. Now, I, although I am married, I, do, I like to flirt, but that's to the extent of it. Uh, I guess I'm a big flirt. How would you compare good married life to good single life? Good married life, I think your life is more structured in a sense. You know, that doesn't mean that there's no problems happening. I mean, all relationships are going to have their problems with it. But to me, I enjoy being married. Uh, you know, I guess you always know you have a date <laughs> and you're not going to get stood up or whatever. And. Um, I think single, you know, is, is nice too, um, but now I guess people are just so pro-relationship that, you know, they'll go to any wit end to try to, you know, make something happen, when it just should naturally just happen. You like somebody and you, you start a little bond there, and then eventually it grows and blossoms into something else. So I guess, you know, whether you're married or you're single, it's okay, depending on how you fit into that particular situation. What are the advantages for you and disadvantages of, say, good married life versus the time that you were single and enjoying the single life as well? Um, I think the advantage is I can really play into my, my flirting. I know that, hey, I'm just flirting, it's fun, and um, I'm going to go home to my husband. <laughs> You know, but on the other end, I mean, you really, you don't really know people. I mean, you might go home and they might be a mad murderer or something. You know, not to say that husbands aren't capable of being that themselves. But, um, huh, it's kind of a... What do you miss about being single? What do I miss about being single? Um, probably not much because what I am able to, if I were single, I would, could do that with my husband at this point. What advice could you give men on how they can get along better with women in general? Hmm. Uh, I think to be more 
helpful as opposed to being needy as a like a kid. And being mature and being a grown up, accepting responsibility, not being in denial and not uh, you know, spending a little more spending quality time with your with your wife and your mate. You know, you can always have a, a date designated to go out with the boys, but you really need to be home and and doing things with your wife. I mean, you can go out to a ball game with your wife, and I mean, each person, they do need a little space of their own, whether you got with the boys or girls or with the girls. I think that makes a good balance, because then you, you, you're anticipating going home to be with your mate. So. What advice can you give to men so they could be better lovers? Listen. Listen. You know, be more explorative. Not just, you know, just hit it and I'm gone and, you know. Um, yeah, make it more like a, a journey or something like this is the last time you're going to be with this person. So you really want to get into it and, you know, make it the best or give your best. Yeah. When do you want your man to be strong and tough and when do you want him to be soft and sensitive? human and they're not all into this macho thing because most macho guys believe it or not when they're alone they're probably in the closet crying somewhere but they will never admit to it or let you see it but I like a man that's sensitive and he cries it's okay to do that um, a strong guy I like him to be strong when when I need him to go jump on somebody or they're giving me a hard time or something um, you know just to be strong for himself, not so much for me, but just to be able to defend his own, you know, when he needs to, and mine too. What makes for romance? Oh, when you're just playful and when it's, you know, spontaneous and, you know, just going, I like to say, wherever the wind just kind of blows you. Okay, now women having a, a range of emotions, you know, men do too, but men, would ha women, we do, we, 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 instead of bottling it up, I mean, we just let it out. That's just the best way to get it off your chest. I mean, they can, you, da 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 and then, okay, honey, what would you like for dinner? Mwah, hugs, kisses, or something. But a man, he will never do that. I mean, he'll keep it bottled until one day out of the blue when you don't even know what the hell is wrong. They may stand up in the bed and just start pitching, and you don't know. So they have a different way of releasing Women, we just release better or something. We just get it off our chest and move on, you know. And then, for some reason, some of them just can't do that. <laughs>